Welcome back to another crypto video. What's good, YouTube family? I hope you're doing amazing. Thanks for checking out another video. Today, we're going to look at the graph, and the sentiment again is quite bearish. So, if you don't like bearish videos, you might want to quickly hop out of this tab and look at something else. So the graph today rank 54, trading at 39 cents, market cap of 2.4 billion. So yeah, we've had a quite a bit of a bloodbath once again. 30 days we're down 32%, seven days we're down 60%. On the 24, we're down 6%. So it's gonna be quite a quick video really. We all know the graph is a project that launched on Coinbase around about a year ago and it's still got potential but looking at the correction it just doesn't look healthy in my opinion and for a coin to correct over 90 percent that's you know that's extremely bearish um the volatility it, it doesn't look amazing for the long term right now so yeah before we hop into that make sure you do smash that subscribe button leave a comment down below also new fans new arrivals do hop into the discord down below as well completely no strings attached basically you can just join that down in the link below and very uh, much like mind pe minded people there so basically what i see here of grt trading at 39 cents at the moment we had the coinbase launch um around you know december time we had the first impulse we corrected big big amount of support around that 24 cents level but then we took a huge pump to the upside and it was it was so greedy it was that first big old season you know where things were kicking off 1000 percent literally in the space of a few days 31 days so that's already took place it's already happened we pull up the fib retracement and you could we can see that we're already below that 0 0.786 on the retracement level when you look at the next impulse it's this it's come below i mean that's extremely unhealthy the correction is huge um so what i'm seeing firstly on the daily time frame when you look at the rsi it's only come down below 25 twice the last time it did this we saw a bounce of around 167 percent now this time it's done the same thing we already saw a pump on the rsi but we didn't get the same return we only got 46 percent so what if we do continue to pump the upside maybe assuming diminishing returns Maybe we're getting 100, let's say 110 percent. Maybe we can retest this resistance at round 0.77. So something like this. Once we get a bit of sideways action, sideways trading for a while, well, that's what could potentially happen. There's, there's two real outcomes that are in mind. Of course, we had the impulse, we had the retracement, another impulse, and a retracement. So we could potentially come this way, or we could potentially just simply come back down retesting lower support levels which would be pretty horrible for any graph holders especially anyone that bought nearer to the top um in this particular scenario we're not really getting any volume we're under that 20 day moving average on the daily time frame if we hop into the four hours we can now see as well back under that 20 day moving average now one thing to bear in mind is that we have a lot of support at this particular level here that 0.38 level lots of support here and if we were to fall below we'd probably be coming to that 0.34 around here which is this you know this wick here writes in that big support level so i think right now you know we can possibly come lower looking at 0.34 looking at 0.31 um if we do lose the next support at 0.34 0.31 would be the next level um and then we've even got 0.23 which is right here, which would be our last level of support before the worst of the worst could possibly happen. So greedy, fearful, are we gonna get another phase of you know, greed and euphoria? If you look at that four hour, we can see we're all the way down on this um, RSI. We haven't really taken a pump yet. And the last time we did, we took a pump all the way back up to 78 RSI and that carried through all the way to over here. And then we saw that downtrend and you can actually see these sort of channels quite clearly on this particular project where you've got that written in you have these sort of rising channels i'd say there and there see that rising channel is is very apparent you can see the high lows um and the higher highs also written in so i'll just change this to ping for you and then we suddenly flipped bearish from this point all the way down 
from this high all the way down. So it's like we're getting a big falling wedge in this particular pattern. So maybe we're going to put through another sort of bullish sentiment, a nice bullish uptrend in the near future. Um, but it's very hard to say right now, guys. Very hard to say um, because we could lose this support level. And like I say, if we lose the support, the next level we come down to is 0 0.34, 0 0.31, 0 0.23. If we do get a bounce to the upside, the next resistance is around 0 0.51 and um, also 0 0.42, which is just here as well. And that's written in with this big wick on 22nd of June 21. So I think right now I'm going to stay away from the graph. And I think just when I see a correction of this magnitude, when I see a correction that is literally 87%, it does make me think the downside must be minimized. But I think it's better to wait to see what happens, see if we can break through the next resistances, um, as I'm not really feeling super bullish about the graph right now. So that's about a wrap really with the graph. I know there's a lot of uh, graph holders out there, but just beware that if you're dollar cost averaging, make sure you don't put everything in at one go, not financial advice, but you know, if you see it come down to the next support, don't put everything in, maybe put like 10% of your capital into that for a nice DCA position in case it drops again. But you know, this is fear, this is fear, this is greed, and this would be greed again. So maybe we can still get that bounce, that 0.81 mark. I mean, that is still a realistic target when you zoom out, and it could take a couple months to get there. So maybe April, we're gonna see a 0.80 USD, um, graph, but just bear in mind in the near term, we could still come lower. So that's about everything on the graph today. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel, comment down below, make sure you hop into the Discord, which is just here in the description. That's completely free for you. And also massive thanks to the patrons if you want to become a part of the Patreon family. Also, price of a coffee, one on one messaging. You receive this awesome ebook that people have loved, and yeah, many more benefits to come. So do also consider doing that. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.